Mm-hmm. Gray, what have you heard uh, about the Assassin's Creed and uh, One Piece thing? Uh yeah, I was surprised. I first saw it through you, through your personal tweet Twitter accounts. Like, look, what what is what is this? Why are people making such a big fuss? I I I haven't zoomed into the pictures, and I'm not I'm not familiar with One Piece, so uh, not the anime anyway. So um, okay, what what's going on? Why are people so angry right now? Then I I checked, I zoomed in the pictures. Like, no no freaking way, man, no freaking way. They just bought that shit in Amazon. And it is a like a part of me would understand if it's like some obscure item or some obscure character, but if this you got a one from One Piece, one of the biggest anime ever, <laughs> do you think no one would notice? It's uh, I don't know. It's, Ubisoft has a lot of house cleaning to do. Maybe in all the people were saying no, not just the marketing. You got a clean house in everywhere, <laughs> the entire mm. company. So yeah, uh. You have to wonder what the marketing team was doing all that time, prepping for the event. And they, well, they just chose to randomly just fuck around and just buy whatever at Amazon. Yeah, uh, really, really bad luck for Ubisoft right now. Yep. Oh, man. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about this before your giveaway. Let's go and talk about this really quick. So this comes to us from Dad Park Place. Assassin's Creed Shadows accused of using Zoro's sword from One Piece and props from Amazon as official artwork. So if you actually go to the official, um, it, it scrolls down right over here, right? I'm going to scroll down. If you go to the official Assassin's Creed France Twitter page, it says right here, Katana and Yasuke's mask or even artwork from the game or Ubisoft stand at Japan Expo offers you an immersive experience. Well, immerse you in the spirit of the game until July 14, which is tomorrow. Now, I'm going to go to that tweet. I'm going to go to that tweet right now. And I want to see if they wrote anything about it. If they wrote anything about it. Nope, they haven't. However, they got community noted. So I'm going to open this up right over here and I'm going to translate it. And it says, this is Zoro's toy sword from the Japanese manga One Piece. This is not a Japanese sword from the Muromachi period in Japan, nor is it an artwork by uh, Ubisoft. So the thing is, they got community noted. And the fact that they still have this up, I wonder how much more crappy Ubisoft can get, right? We already got the thing where they, they they took the banner from the reenactment of like Samurais and stuff like that and put it in their game and put it in the concept art. But let's go ahead and read this article right over here. Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Shadows are being accused, sorry, and uh, Assassin's Creed are being accused of using One Piece Row and Nora Zoro's katana as well as props purchased from Amazon uh, as official artwork for the game. In the post, uh, to the game's official French account on X translations from Deep L Katana and Yasuke artwork uh, from Ubisoft booth in Japan offers uh, offers you an immersive experience. This is right over here, which is what we just read. Company was accused by X user uh, Kia Betsu Human of grabbing products off of Amazon. A translation from Deep L reads: Official Assassin's Creed Shadows merchandise is available from Amazon. And then he uh, shared a number of products images that matches Assassin's Creed France accounts posted. Yep. And I actually did check yesterday too. You can actually buy a bundle. You see a stand over here? It has like, it actually has three yeah. tiers. And you can actually buy three different swords from one piece and put it on top of that. <laughs> yeah. What and and your... the text is exactly the same, right? It's exactly yeah. the same. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on them uh, basically cheaping out and just buying something like this? And, yeah, and doing this, just, it speaks volumes on the quality of work that Ubisoft invests in. Like, right? They're claiming that oh, we properly researched everything to make this game as authentic to the Japanese culture and history as possible. When it's been proven so many times by um, actual Japanese researchers or scholars or people who are just well knowledge about the subject matter, like. I think Grums gets literally every day new shit that Ubisoft did and what they find in the trailer. Mm-hmm. So not surprising at all for this. I But I think 
there's a big there's bigger news right now with the findings of the author saying that Yasuke was a legit samurai. It was proven that he was lying all along. No, yeah. That guy yeah. basically, um, according to what I heard, he basically used the Wikipedia as his his facts, right? And he made a book about it. And it, this is back like, maybe 10 years ago. And basically, maybe 10, 7 years ago, something like that, maybe 8 years ago. And basically, he started using that and saying that as fact and did not do any of his research. And when you're being called out for it, people will just call you racist, right? There's one guy who asked us as, as one of our um, Assassin's Creed video basically sort of blew up and a lot of Japanese people um, started commenting on it, right? They said, why do they do this? Why are they doing this, right? Why, why are they doing something that's incorrect? And I tell them, uh, because these people feel um, that they are responsible for black slavery. They feel responsible that that slavery that happened 400 years ago was on them. So to uplift black voices and black people, they basically appropriate other cultures and b- appropriate them and sort of like doing it sh- in a shitty way to upvote and upraise um, black people. Mm-hmm. And if you were to call it out, if you were to say anything about it, you'll be considered and labeled as racist. Right. And that's how it's always been. Whether it's it's they want to uplift them is because it's something and it's some, something that they have no control over. Right. This shit happened 400 years ago. Why are you doing this? It's so easy for you just to go to Japan, do some research, look up some actual scripture and shit like that. And or even talk to a historian from Japan. Hey, is this accurate? Hey, is it is this correct? And they don't do that whatsoever. And it feels like they're just lazy. And it's also, they're basically spitting on the actual Japanese culture itself. Yeah. Yeah, so let's yeah, continue right I, over here. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you finish. Yeah, I was going to... And there's other segments in this uh, video footage that they've shown so far. I've seen, like, actual, like, pain things in the game that was actually in the wrong time period and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it's... If you're going to claim that it's historically accurate, you better deliver on that. So apparently... The game has been fumbling the ball so many times with regards to that. Like when he, if people are gonna get so detail oriented with that, like the painting during, uh, the the game settings around the fifteen hundreds, but you can see a painting that they placed on the house. It's in the sixteen hundreds and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. People are gonna notice that kind of thing if you're gonna say that you're historically accurate. They could have saved themselves a lot of headache and pain if had they just said it was a fictional setting. Yeah. But uh, with their pride and ego, they didn't allow, they didn't want that. And now they're dealing with the mess. And that keeps, that doesn't seem to go away. It keeps getting bigger and bigger until this is bad PR until the game releases. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern also identified the katana on the stand as Roanor Zoro sword from One Piece. He wrote on X Ubisoft Rift Off One Piece gives fake samurai Yasuke Roanor Zoro's katana at Japan Expo. That's going to piss off even more Japanese. Uh, he can he continued, I'm getting a scent of flood of references and Assassin's Creed Shadows has ripped off from Japanese artists, but this one's worse by far. Now here's the thing. Technically, what Assassin's Creed Shadow and Ubisoft can say is like, hey, we're we're basically appropriating Oda. Not Oda Nobunaga, though. Oda Eiichiro. <laughs> so, so, so it's like, I have a feeling that they're just going to say, hey, it is Oda. You didn't say which Oda. But yeah, man, this, this is really shitty. Both Katana and the stand are sold by French company called, uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing it wrong, Fee Nomen. And sells a reproduction of Zoro's Sandai Kitetsu. The katana stand here are listed on the company's website for $39.99, which is right over here. You can actually buy it outright, just buy it. See, the geisha statue looks very uh, uh, similar. A $14.99 listing from manufacturer of w, uh, AWHAO that is found on Amazon. Look, this looks like something you could buy on AliExpress, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow and you could buy three of us there's a three pack wow you can save money here you can save big money all right it's the uh these accusations k uh come in the wake of japanese politician satoshi hamada signaling he could bring the game up front of the japanese diet japan's uh legislature 
Hamada indicated on X early this week, requests for opinions. We have received a consultation regarding the alteration of Japanese history by a French company game. Sorry, sorry French game company. Uh, we share the consultation uh, below with images. We have also quoted a post that we believe points out the problem with the game in question. We will be happy to receive your comments and suggestions, including any specific requests, which is right over here. This is the actual post. In a subsequent post, he added, thank you for many comments about the new Assassin's Creed series of game uh, set in Japan. In relation to the above, we received a consultation from another person about cultural theft and cultural invasion regarding Yasuke, a black man who served uh, Nobunaga Oda. We share the content of the consultation with you, which he shared right over here, which is actually really, really good, right? Ubisoft Japan recently issued an apology for using a back flag of the Sekigahara Temple Corps without the reenactment uh, reenactment group's permission. The back flag was shown in a prom uh, promotional video for the game as noted by former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern. So here's the thing. Mark Kern is the bane of people's existence right now who are extremely woke. They hate yeah. this guy, right? So given the fact that you have someone from actually like Japan doing this, right? A, uh, a Japanese politician who's actually bringing all this up. And you're, it's like, they're getting worse and worse by the day. Like every day there's like new stuff that comes out that shines mm -hmm. a light to how shitty Ubisoft is right especially this and the thing is that they have a division in japan why didn't they use that division for not just localization but for actual like historical like facts like gray how, how do you feel about this man this is crazy. yeah it's like it's you already had the blueprint with ghosts of tsushima and i actually i'm pretty sure ubisoft is the bigger developer in comparison to sucker punch and yet you have this th smaller developer pulling it off correctly. Even They became even ambassadors of Tsushima because of the work they did with the game. Why could, you, you literally just had to copy this and in Assassin's Creed format and not making it controversial with the main character. It, it would have been a guaranteed gangbusters. It didn't, look, it didn't even have to be as good as Ghost of Tsushima gameplay-wise. You just needed to put Assassin's Creed in Japan. And somehow Ubisoft still fucked that up by, you know, it had to be a black guy, and and they didn't they didn't want to invest the money in doing actual research, hiring consultants, whether it's they're applying the correct art, applying the correct um, design, the structure of all the settings of Japan during back in the day, or is it respectful to their culture? Like this could have been easily a home, like uh, Tom said last week, this could have been an easy home run, but. Yeah. Yeah, they somehow still fucked it up. All right, let's go ahead and finish this right up here. Ubisoft Japan apologized for using the flag without permission earlier this week. He wrote on uh, it wrote on X. We have received notice that two pieces of the concept art previously released for Jap uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows was used the flag of the Sekigahara Battlefield Hospitality Union without permission. The group was given an opportunity to apologize and, if, and it was accepted. This is likely an issue with the translation as pro uh, probably better interpreted as the group gave us the opportunity to apologize and it was accepted. The company added, the art in question will not be used or distributed any further beyond the state except for being included in the art book in the collector's edition. We deeply apologize for that, which is crazy, man. Just absolutely insane right over here. This is crazy. All of this comes after Ubisoft initially marketed the game as historically accurate. The company shared in a blog post, Ubisoft Quebec went to great lengths consulting source documentation and building a network of expert historians, professors, and cultural consultants to help them build a world as authentically as possible, from castle construction principles to tea ceremonies to tatama, sorry, tatami alignments. Clearly not. Clearly not. L look at your marketing. <laughs> Is that what? Where was the consultation there? Huh? Did they say, "Oh, use Zoro's sword"? <laughs> it's, that's the consultation services they provided yeah, you. Man. Yeah, you, you yeah. better fire those consultants then. Yeah, it added a team made trips to Japan to help them properly properly grasp the landscape and the culture, and more importantly, connect with Ubisoft Tokyo's and Osaka teams 
who helped with creation of the game. No, man. Ubisoft Quebec took this opportunity to take a vacation, all expenses paid vacation to Japan for probably a couple of months, maybe a couple of weeks to a month to basically fuck off. They mm. probably went to Disney Tokyo, Universal Tokyo. They visited probably Ghibli Museum and they went through all these other shit. And then it's like, oh, the last two days, let's go do some research. Agreed. Man. Agreed. The blog post also made it clear that they were attempting to tell a historical story of Yasuke. It detailed Yasuke also offers a unique perspective on the period. Players can discover Japan alongside him. On one hand, he serves as a warning for the colonizing threat that the, pro sorry, the Portuguese present. And on the other, he adapted and thrived in Japan. And he can be viewed as an example of a meritoc meritocratic sorry, uh, structure uh, established in under uh, Nobunaga. Assassin's Creed Shadows is, historic, is, is his historical story is established and developed and expanded from the point. The team won't spoil how he's linked to Assassin's Creed lore. Players will have to play the game to find out. Yeah. Uh, this is this is bad, man. This looks really, really bad in Ubisoft. And I guarantee you they will not make an apology for this. Um, I wonder if uh, Ichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece, knows about yeah. this. Like, oh, they used my sword. <laughs> He probably does by it now. It's like the moment when some the first post came, I was like, oh, we, we got to send this to Oda. So he probably does by now. But yeah, uh, it's, this is turning to be a lot more interesting than I initially thought. I didn't expect it to blow up this badly. It's like I thought the discourse was going to end with the Yasuke design and the certain artworks in the game. But yeah, it's <laughs> as you said, it's getting worse and worse. And I'm really interested to see how it will go down in Japan, the sales of this game. And I imagine some other stuff is still going to happen. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.